manga sites. So, came across this article showing us the prototype Batman 3 suit that Michael Keaton was supposed to wear if he undertook the role again. And as you can see from the pictures, I think it looked pretty badass to me personally. I think um, things look, I think it looks streamlined. The belt looks pretty cool. It looks like it did with the um, Batman Begins belt where it would kind of, you know, sloped around, you know, the, the waist. It looked different, you know what I mean? It had a different cut to it. Got uh, the muscles look streamlined, more like a, almost like a swimmer's build, or uh, uh, look like a, a fucking uh, uh, physique model. You know what I mean for body belt. He looks more streamlined, like an uh, agile fighter would. I think that's a pretty good, cool suit. I think that's, you know what I mean. Now, this is what the article says. This year, Michael Keaton got quite a positive review for his performance in Birdman, which I haven't seen yet. Let me know if it was good so I can check it out. Uh, but comic fans know him far better as a different superhero, Batman. Starring in both Batman and Batman Returns, sorry about that, Keaton was originally supposed to appear in a third film had the studio not decided to replace Tim Burton with Joel Schumacher for Batman Forever. However, if you'd like a glimpse of what it would have been, what it could have been, I-09 has uncovered photos of what Keaton's Batsuit for Batman 3 would have looked like, which I already checked, and it's the same pictures that I'm showing you here in the video, so. Uh, still, in, and in this article, so I don't know why it says that, but anyway, the iconic Bat logo is still present on each costume, with some looking more uh, like an armor than others. However, all of them have a fair amount of emphasis on the ab muscles. Yeah, I was like, when I was looking at it, I was like, wait a minute, that one looks different from that one. It looks like those first two are the armored ones, and then the last one has more of the muscles. And no nipples, so that's a good thing. Uh, <laughs> Keaton's role in Birdman allowed Fox Searchlight to make their own reference to his Batman career in November. The studio actually released a viral parody trailer for Birdman Returns that was incredibly similar to that of Batman Returns. I'll check that out. I haven't seen that yet. So, Magnus, let me know what you think of the Batman 3 prototype. And more than that, if they had a more mature aged Keaton come back and play Batman. Would you like that? Would you want it? Would you care? I don't know. I don't know. Because Christian Bale being more physical, I think, of a guy, um, I, I, I just don't know. You know, uh, I think he upped the ante a little bit. But, um, mm, we'll see how Ben does. And, uh, because we know we all gonna be comparing Ben to um, to Christian Bale. Because you know, when I found out that Christian Bale was cast, I was like, "Oh, Christian Bale can fight." I've seen him, you know, in uh, other movies. And I'm like, "Okay, he's a physical guy; he can do stuff." So we'll get to see Batman do some real martial arts here. Except, you know, I mean, I kick a punch. Yeah, yeah, I want. I do want to see a more physical Batman. I want to see something that's more like Arkham Knights. That's what I want to see. That's the perfect Batman to me that I've seen jump off of the comic book pages. But, like I said, let me know what you think. Post your comments below. One million subscribers. Woo!